I welcome you all to this program Voice of Saints Today January 10th the Mother Church celebrates the feast of Saint Gregory of Nyssa Saint Gregory of Nyssa born on 335 in Cappadocia Asia Minor philosophical theologian and mystic leader of the orthodox party in 4th century Christian controversies over the doctrine of the trinity primarily a scholar he wrote many theological mystical and monastic works in which he balanced platonic and christian traditions a younger son of a distinguished family gregory was educated in his native province but was more deeply influenced by his philosophical trainings than by the other two cappadocian fathers of the church He began his adult life as a teacher of rhetoric and may have been married although several references that suggest this are capable of a different interpretation and the strictures on marriage in this theories of virginity seems to imply the contrary in the 360s he turned to religious studies and christian devotion perhaps even to the monastic life under basil's inspiration and guidance as part of basil's struggle with bishop antimus of tyana whose city became the metropolis gregory was consecrated as bishop of nisa a small city in the new province of cappadocia secunda which basil wished to retain in his ecclesiastical jurisdiction In 375 however Gregory was accused of maladministration by the provincial governor as part of the arianizing campaign of the Roman emperor Valens Gregory was deposed in 376 by a synod of bishops and banished but on Valens death in 378 Gregory's congregation welcomed him back enthusiastically though Basil has considered him unsuited for ecclesiastical diplomacy after Gregory's return to his diocese he was active in the settlement of church affairs in the years that followed in 379 he attended a council at Antioch and was sent on a special mission to the churches of Arabia His visit to Jerusalem on this occasion left him with a dislike for the increasingly fashionable pilgrimages an opinion he expressed vigorously in one of his letters in 381 he took part in the general council at Constantinople and was recognized by the emperor Theodosius as one of the leaders of the orthodox communion in Cappadocia Gregory declined election to the important bishopric of Sebaste however the care of his small diocese left him free to preach at Constantinople on such special occasions as the funeral of Theodosius wife and daughter under the unlearned nectarius the successor of gregory of nasianus at constantinople gregory of nyssa was a leading orthodox theologian of the church in asia minor in the struggle against the arians a notable emphasis on gregory's teaching is the principle that the spiritual life is not one of static perfection but a constant progress His greatest achievement is his remarkably balanced synthesis of Hellenic and Christian traditions in an age when both were represented by vigorous and acute minds. He was called to eternal happiness on 394. On behalf of Saints Fans Association, I wish you all a happy feast day.